All right, y'all, I've been trying to get her up for the past 45 minutes. She did go to sleep late, but that's no excuse. It's no excuse. Told you to get up. <laughs> Gotta get up, man. I've been trying to wake you up for 45 minutes. Really? 45 minutes. It's dripping now. Look at it. It's dripping. You up now? You up now? Huh? Are you? You not? You want some more? Stop. You sure you don't want no more? Stop. I'm already up. Stop. You sure? You sure? Stop! You gonna get up? Move, I'm hella here. It's, it's, you, it's you raining gonna, outside. You, you gonna move, get up? move. You, you, you gonna get up? Cause, dude, I don't uh, even uh, overdo uh, you like that. Stop. Uh, I don't overdo you, sure? you like that. Stop. You, you, you sure? Serious, stop. This is some good water, by the way. Pretty sure she up now, but I gotta go to work. I don't know what the heck happened to that last video. Um, I've been trying to upload it yesterday, and it works perfectly fine on my computer. But for some reason, when I upload it and pre press uh, public, it, it like freezes like and the words go off or something. I don't know. So um, I'm going to have to fix that today. So sorry if we a day late on videos. I had to like literally, I know if y'all phones went off and on like, oh, why they keep on trying to upload the same video on my phone doing it? It's because I was trying to fix the video problem and it, it, everything worked until I put it public. And then it just like the words was off and I don't know if it's on YouTube I, because it's working on my end. So I don't know. So. That being said, my bad, we a day late, but yeah, we had to get her up though, man. It's time these kids go to school. I gotta go to work. Today my last day. So yeah. This is my place. Because I'm back down on my own. What's up, y'all? This is like an awkward vlog. You know, I don't know how to really talk to y'all right now because shit. I don't even know what to feel right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like one of the hardest things of my life right now. I never did nothing like this. And to be quite honest, it's kind of awkward, man. All right, so let me tell y'all the whole reason why I did this. Um, I got a lot of things going on in my life right now, you know? Um, I'm gonna actually miss this job, though. Like, I'm not even kidding, bro. Like, I'm not even making up no story or nothing. Like, I'm gonna actually miss this job, bro. Like, for, for the record, I know some of y'all, like, why would you do something like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? And it's a story behind it. I'm going to tell y'all why right now, why I'm driving home. Because um, I did pull in my full eight hours. And, yeah, it's over with. I turned in my keys. I signed out. And it's over with. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want me to go. Um, long story short, I'm not going to bore y'all. This is not one of them hyphy vlogs that y'all always see us doing everything. This is about to be a story about my life and why it came to this day today. Um, so let me just start off by telling y'all I really appreciate all the support that we're really getting from this channel and the subscriber base that we're having in the comments and give this video a big thumbs up share it. you know if you got any social media um, follow us on our social medias but look growing up we really 
we really didn't never really have a lot i mean i know that's everybody's story so i'm not gonna bore y'all with the whole details of it but you know even till today we don't have a lot you know what i'm saying like basically what i'm saying is um when when i met nika you know i had money you know what i'm saying i always had you know i always had a hustle in me you know but it was the wrong kind of hustle if you get my drift this is a family channel so i'm not gonna really like put it out there like that but you know growing up being in a neighborhood that i was raised in and everything like it wasn't no opportunities for jobs and things like that or or me being raised the way i was raised it was always that opportunity but it was one of those things that what i seen is what i did you know i was i was i was in the streets you know what i'm saying so and it came to the point where i had my child tuki you know what i'm saying and i was like I was like, man, I need something different. It came to the point where, you know, where we stayed at, it was a lot of gunshots, a lot of violence happening and everything. And I had my baby and I'm like, I can't put her through this. So that's when we moved out of our city and moved to where we at now. And from there, I, I mean, I went broke. I went broke. All I knew was my city. All I knew was hustling, getting money. I'm waiting on this light. There we go. Yeah, I mean, that's what I knew. So when I was into a newer city environment, I tried to bring what I what I took from that city into that city, and it was just, it, 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 it was never the same, you know? So I went broke, you know what I'm saying? Like, we were struggling. Um, long story short, I figured out I needed a job, man. So I didn't realize how hard it was to find jobs, man. You know what I'm saying? So I've been working on and off even as, even as a team but it never was a full-time job it was always like tip agencies and don't nobody know this story everybody always think that i've been having money my whole life you know what i'm saying i just choose to like save my money and and you know do better things with my money you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day i mean i'm not saying I'm, I'm broke but you know i'm not where i need to be at and that's just how i feel from my perspective um, I'm gonna try to keep it short, but I want to fill y'all in on all the details. So Anyway, I felt like I needed to get a job. So I did I went to a, I thought cuz I never knew what a temp agency was or whatever I just knew I, it was a job opportunity for me at this uh, warehouse So I went filled out the application. What do you know two days later? They called me and said I had the job, right? I'm gonna tell you something. I was doing so bad. I had to borrow money from Nika's grandmother to buy my work boots before I can even start working. Luckily, you know, cause like great, where I was raised up, don't nobody want to help you. Don't nobody want to see you have nothing. So I was luckily, luckily fortunate to have her in my life at that time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, her family is very helpful at the end of the day. And mine is too, don't get it twisted. But you know, my family just don't have a lot. And, I mean, I'm not saying hers have a lot, but um, at the time, they did help. Uh, so anyway, moving forward, I got the job and I worked my butt off tw seven, seven days a week, like 12 hours a day, like nonstop. And I was only getting paid like $10 an hour, man. A lot of people don't know that. Now, don't let, let me tell y'all people everything because i mean i always i always had the hustle in me like i always did side stuff okay so i'm not saying i just depended on that but it's kind of stressful so man I'm, i've been working for this company for like four years and they off and on off and on and they let me go you know what i'm saying it was good enough to pay the bills and all that and then whatever hustling me and nika did on the side you know what i mean um but they let me go and when they let me go, I mean, really, they should have put me on full time, especially me being there for four years. But remind y'all, I didn't even know, so I'm so new to the working world, I didn't even know I was working for a temp agency. I thought I had a full time job, you know what I'm saying? Till I figured out I was going through a temp agency. I, I mean, I didn't trip as long as they gave me work. So since then, I was like, fuck, what can I do? And when I got fired, I'm a, I, I, I mean, I had no time for error, man. I'm living check by check. You know what I'm saying? I had no time for air, so I had to hurry up next day and, and, and get up and try to find another job. And you know, and, and I'm gonna keep it short like this. I've been, ever since then, I've been working for tip agents, off and on, off and on, off and on. You know what I'm saying? They don't wanna hire full time, and, and no matter how much good work I say they do, companies can only allow so many employees, but they do need extra help when they need it, so I was just that extra help. Anyway, um, it got to a point where 
I was doing this nighttime forklift position and I just couldn't handle it and it wasn't paying the bills and so I started looking online for jobs while I was uh, driving forklift. Um, you know, but by the way, while I was going through these jobs over the years, I was always learning, you know what I'm saying? Always learning like who get while I'm at this job, who getting paid the most, how can I get in a position? You know what I'm saying? And um Yeah, and I it was crazy about the job I just left because I'm trying to keep it brief with y'all, I don't wanna bore y'all, but it was crazy about the job I left because I I found them on Craigslist and I actually got an interview with them and I guess I aced the interview but I didn't even know I aced the interview. I mean, I knew I aced the interview but they never called me back for like a couple of months and I'm like, fuck. So I'm still at this forklift company, man, and out of nowhere I get an email and I check it. I'm like, oh, it's the job. And they offered me the job, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, cool, I'm free, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, I went there you know, work my butt off. And by the way, I literally just quit a mechanical engineer job. And that's where, you know, you fix on machinery and electrical work and anything that breaks down in the warehouse, you know. So it was a hell of a good job. Don't, 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 don't get it twisted. You know, I, I'm not saying I'm quitting because I'm tired of it. Because first of all, that was the best job I ever had in my life, man. Like, it was just relaxing, no stress. Everybody there was cool. You know what I'm saying? Until today, they didn't want me to leave. You know, she even said, the CEO just came at me and said, you know, if I have any questions or I need you to come in, you know, can I call you or email you and could you come in? I was like, yeah, sure. You know, y'all been, been nothing but great to me. But back to me keeping it brief and short, it's like I got my own destiny, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I mean, sad enough to say it took me this long to figure out that I need to start working on myself and on my own career and my own life, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what led me here today, man. I figured out I can't stop right there because I never did stop when I was getting paid for $10 an hour. I never did stop. I raised and raised and raised and raised, and that's how I've been, and now I'm at the point where I'm tired of building someone else's dream. I, we need to start building our dreams. And this go to everybody, man. Y'all got to start building y'all dreams, man. Everybody, you know. So, like I said, it was a hell of a good job, man. But I, I feel like I'm, I just need to build my own dream, you know. And um, so, I don't know if this is like the most stupidest thing I've done in my life. By leaving a good job. Or the most prosperous um, I mean, you, you, you can name the big words, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was just one of the best things I ever did in my life, but the possibilities in life is no end to it, you know? So, at the end of the day, I feel I love doing YouTube, you know? I love putting on for y'all everything, man. By the way, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, but I want to put my all into YouTube and turn up for y'all, which, by the way, y'all about to be seeing them videos come out back to back. But on top of that, I never have no time for my family, believe it or not. Like, honestly, y'all even see the, the original subscribers that really mess with us and the people that newly mess with us can probably see it too. Anytime, like, Nika vlogging or something, where I'm at? At work. When when she pranked me where I'm tired, you know what I'm saying? I still edit video. I still put on, you know what I'm saying? But it comes to a point where, like, health is more important. You know, family is more important. You know, and building yourself is more important. You know what I'm saying? Because... I mean, I'm not going to say they didn't care for me, but shit, at the end of the day, if they got slow and had to get rid of me, they'd get rid of me in a heartbeat at the end of the day. So it's like, you know, so I'm, I'm not even going to get into all that detail, man. But check it out. I'm here. I want to support my family. And I want to support myself as well. So we're about to start. Let me let... Let us know, because we about to start hitting the gym in the mornings. We about to uh, we about to do a lot of things, and we going to be dropping a lot of videos. So, y'all stay tuned for that. So, like I said, I don't know if this is the dumbest decision I made in my life or the smartest decision I made in my life, but life is full of wonders, and I'm here, and I'm willing to take these risks just so, you know, we can live, you know, and put on for y'all and uh, just, 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 you know, have a little more freedom in life because I don't want to be a slave my whole life. That's that's I don't think that's what life is about, you know, living paycheck to paycheck. So it's one very important last thing that I do have to tell y'all if y'all made it to the end of this video. 
Um, the giveaways, now that I just did this, sorry to tell y'all, but if you was here for the giveaways, and I hate saying this, man, I really do because I love all y'all and I really want all y'all to stay. Um, I'm not even gonna tell you to unsubscribe because we still doing giveaways, okay? It's just not gonna be every week now. Now it's just gonna be like random giveaways where we just, you know, do a giveaway because of this decision that I made. But as we grow together and as we be on this journey together, it's still gonna come back. Cause you know, I'm a man of my word. I'm always a man of my word. It's always gonna come back. So I'm not saying we stopping the giveaways, but we are, you know, just gonna do random giveaways whenever we feel like it, you know? Um, sorry to tell y'all that, but like I said, if y'all really here for us, then that shouldn't even matter anyway at the end of the day. And yeah, and, and that's pretty much my life's almost, well, y'all didn't hear the, the half of my life story, but that's basically the steps of what I've been taking in life, you know what I'm saying, like, I really never had, like, a real guidance in life as a child, my father wasn't in my life, I'm not, I mean, my mother, my grandmother was in my life, but it was more like in the 80s, like, that's all they wanted to do back then is party, you know, get high, get drunk, they never taught me the ins and outs of life, I had to literally learn life out on my own, y'all, you know what I'm saying, so, with that being said, man, I really want to take y'all on this journey with us. Our, we got we got a good plan, and um, it's going to work, you know, because I don't give up. I don't get tired. We don't give up. That's one thing we don't do is give up, you know. Um, so I want y'all to be on the journey with us. We're about to start hitting the gym because the Lord knows it's barely needed, you know, um, and everything else, yeah. And I basically quit my job with no income. And so it is what it is, y'all. One thing for sure I can tell y'all is we going to be all right, you know. Um, I got stuff saved up and you know everything else and we gonna be all right so I'm not worried about you know it's always it's always a hustle out here you know so but at the end of the day let's build this YouTube channel man if you knew when you listen to this man if you want to see the success stories within us then hit that subscribe button hit that like bell and um please 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 if y'all have social medias and y'all mess with us share our videos man and I'm gonna leave it at that man I see y'all on the next video all right so remember man grind with us and shine with us man you know what i'm saying it's too much love out here to be shown man with that being said man i love y'all man i'll see y'all in the next one man. Yeah, remember they told me that we'll fail remember they said we'll see a cell that would that to me like can't do it i'm in the feel like the nfl niggas is sick and i wish them well i made a wish and a wish them well i put a brick in a wish them well been through some shit and i'm sick of jail